Welcome to Electra Online. When Archimedes was tasked with finding the density of the king's crown, at least that's the way the story goes, he was stumped because he knew that the density could be calculated by knowing the mass of the object divided by the volume. The mass is easy to figure out, but how do you find the volume of a crowd without melting it down? Obviously that would kind of defeat the purpose. So he was kind of stumped until he realized that if we were to place the crown in a liquid, that the volume of the displaced liquid is equal to the volume of the object. So in this case, you could measure if you could take the crown and dump, dunk it in some water and watch the overflow of water, the amount of overflow would be equal to the volume of the crown and then you could figure out the density of the crown. So, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we measure the mass of the object in air, then we dunk it into a liquid like water and measure the apparent mass now when it's in the liquid. And of course, it's going to be less because there's some sort of buoyancy force. The buoyancy force is equal to the weight in the air minus the weight in the liquid, so I have to multiply the mass times g, and there we get the difference 4.9 newtons in this particular case. Then we use the principle that the buoyancy force is equal to the weight of the displaced liquid, which is the mass times acceleration to gravity. And using this relation between density, mass, and volume, we can replace mass by density times volume. Then we realize that the volume of the displaced liquid must equal the volume of the object. And so therefore we can take the buoyancy force and divide it by the other two factors, density and g. We plug in the buoyancy force that we determined we have the density of the liquid, G, and we get the volume of the displaced liquid, which is the volume of the object. Now we can calculate the volume of the object by taking its mass divided by the volume, which is now known. This, of course, is cubic meters. There we go. And now, and there we get the result. It's 5,000 kilograms per cubic meter, or five times the density of water. And that is how it's done. So how much is the crown worth? <laughs> Depends, because he had to figure out what percentage of the crown was gold and what percentage of the crown was, was silver. And I believe that he found out that there was a very high percentage of silver in there and the jeweler was in a lot of trouble. <laughs>